As we move on to tight end, that's another position where absolutely nothing happened. They took a run early at Olsen, but he ended up signing with, uh, I believe it was Seattle. So you got Dawson Knox, Croft, Lee Smith, and Tommy Sweeney. Kroom's still in the mix at this time anyway. Uh, I would say probably Knox would be the key to the this position, taking that next step. Uh, what, what's your thoughts on him as a rookie last year and his potential going into his sophomore season? Yeah, and you know, I liked I liked his rookie season a lot. I mean, obviously, you know, the first thing that uh, you know people are going to point to that he's got to work on, and it's not a secret, is the drops. You know, way way too many of those. Um, you know, so, you know, particularly just you know some some really good throws uh, of Josh Allen's uh, that that you know were uh, you know should have been caught, quite frankly. And Dawson Knox would be the first to tell you. But you know, physically, I think he. Uh, you know, he's what you want in, in a tight end. I think, I think he plays with an edge. Um, you know, <laughs> I, I have to say one of the things that I, you know, it, you have to mention with Dawson Knox and it's a play that for some reason doesn't get enough attention. But if you want to look at rookie growing pains, uh, go back to the playoff game against Houston and go to overtime, watch oh, the quarterback I'm... sweep that Josh Allen runs. <laughs> okay. Oh, There's, it's a it's a play that Josh Allen ran on the first drive, uh, the tremendous first drive of that game, gained huge yardage, and uh, they ran it again in overtime. And I'm telling you, if Dawson Knox makes the block on that play that he's supposed to, the Bills win that football game. Josh Allen probably, gain, if he doesn't get into the end zone, he gets into inside the red zone, and it's a chip shot field goal for Steven Hauschka. So, um that's an area where Dawson Knox, uh, not that he's always, you know, it's not that he struggled all season with blocking, but uh, there was some rookie growing pains. And and that was probably the the biggest one that you're ever going to find, quite frankly. And it's surprising to me that that play doesn't get a little bit more attention than I think it, than it you know, quite frankly, that it should. That being said, though, again, you know, his skill set, his work ethic, uh, you know, by everything that we've heard about him are all what you're looking for. And I'm really high on Dawson Knox. I think he can be a big part of this offense. I think when you, you know, you look at the weapons that this team has added around him. Um, I, I think he's got all of the attributes that would really, you know, he's not going to be, he's not going to put up Rob Gronkowski numbers or, or, or anything like that, but I don't think he has to, to be a, a, a you know, an important part of this offense. And I think it's okay that you know they missed out on Greg Olson, as you said. I, I I would not have been that in favor of Greg Olson solely for the reason that I think it would take away from Dawson Dawson Knox's playing time, and I don't want to see that. I, I think there's potential there with Knox. 